Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a big and warm, chunky granny stitch scarf. It is worked in a, in a chevron style pattern. And I'm also holding together two strands of yarn to make it nice and bulky and thick. I decided to use three colors for mine. So I've combined this beautiful raw cotton color tweed. I've also used thistle and rose quartz for my scarf. So with your two strands of yarn held together, I'm gonna put a slip knot, put that on the hook, and you're going to chain a multiple of 18. So for this pattern, I am going to do a total of 36. Now in the fifth chain from the hook, so one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to work three double crochets. I'm going to skip two chains and work three double crochets in the next. I'm going to skip two chains, one, two, and in the next chain, I'm going to work three double crochets. I'm going to chain two and work another three double crochets. Now I'm going to skip two chains and work three double crochets. I'm going to skip the next two chains and in the next chain, I'm going to work three double crochets. Now I'm going to skip five chains. So one, two, three, four, five. And in the next chain, I'm going to work three double crochets. Going to skip the next two chains, one, two, and in the next chain, I'm going to work three double crochets. I'm going to skip the next two chains, and in the next chain, I'm going to work three double crochets. I'm going to chain two. And work another three double crochets in the same chain. I'm going to skip two chains. And in the next chain, I'm going to work three double crochets.
I'm going to skip two chains, one, two. In the next chain, I'm going to work three double crochets. And in the last chain, I'm going to work a double crochet. So now you should have started with 36 chains. We worked into the fifth chain from the hook. And if you followed correctly, you should be ending correctly. If you have not finished the same, you're going to need to rework it and check your chain count and check your steps to make sure you're on track. So as you can see, we're getting a chevron look. So we're going to have one, two, three clusters, and then we have our peak right here with our chain two. You're going to have three clusters working down. One, two, three. This is our valley right here where we skipped the five chains. We should have three clusters working back up to the next peak with the chain two and then one, two, three as well. So that's how the starting row should look. So now we'll chain four, turn our work, and we'll be working a cluster. So a cluster is three double crochets. We'll be working that into the space between the clusters. So one, two, three. We'll do the same thing between the next clusters. So work another cluster. And in the chain two, we're going to work three doubles, one, two, three, chain two, and three doubles. So always at your peak, you're going to have your three doubles, chain two, three doubles. And so that you're not increasing, and so that we're always keeping the three clusters to the peak, make sure to count that you haven't ended up with more than you should. So one, two, three, then we have the chain two. It's going to go the same way when we're coming down as well. We always want the three clusters. So we'll work three double crochets between the clusters. Three double crochets. And now you can see we're coming to the valley. So we are skipping over the space between these clusters and going to the next. So this is going to give us that valley that we want. So this is where you could get off track. You wanna make sure we've got one, two, three, then we're skipping and then working back up. So one, two, three. So between the next two clusters, we'll have three doubles. And we're back to that chain two peak. So we have three doubles, chain two, three doubles. So three, Chain two. So three double crochet between the clusters. And 
three double crochet between the next two clusters. And then a double crochet in that turning chain. And you are just going to repeat row two now for the pattern. Okay, so chaining four again, and it's just repeating going back and forth. So really simple, repetitive pattern. But what I have done with the scarf that I've made is done some color blocking. So this is optional. You don't have to do the color blocking. You can do it all in one color. You could stripe it, really whatever you want. But if you want to follow exactly like I've done mine with the three colors, I worked a total of 27 rows of the, um, the natural color. I then did 20 rows with the lighter pink color and then my darker pink I did 27 to match up with this. Now you could do more of the other pink but I didn't want the scarf too too long so I only went with 20 in the center but you can really mix it up in any combination of those numbers. You could do it more even amounts, do a little less than 27, a little bit more than 20, really whatever you want. I just wanted to make sure I did have some yarn left over to do the tassels. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm also going to show you how to change the color. Okay, so let's say that I was going to change my color here. What I'm going to do is yarn over, go through, pull up a loop, pull through two on my hook, and then I would pull through with the pink and chain four. Okay, and just tighten that up. What I found is a good way to just kind of deal with your tails is give this a knot and then I just wove in the tails and that just makes sure it's nice and secure. And then you're going to continue in your pattern with the next color. This scarf will work up really quickly because of the double crochets and the chunky yarn, it really will go quickly. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look when you're finishing. So you're only going to have two peaks on this end, and I measured the scarf from my peak to my valley, and it's about 88 inches long. So let's pull this back up. So, to your valley here. So this end you're going to have three peaks. So I would put three tassels on this end and only two tassels on the other end. Okay, so I'm working out my tassels. I'm doing them all in pink, but you could do them whatever color. You could do a variety of colors. So what I've done here is sectioned off 40 strands at 14 inches long. So I've just put them into a pile and then I've cut two additional pieces for tying. So what you wanna do is take one of the ties and you wanna get it in the center of your bundle. So I just like to go around twice and that will just hold it. Then give that a knot. You'll use this now to tie to the scarf. And the second piece of yarn, you're just going to make your tassel ball with it. So again, when I'm tying, go around once, go around twice. Give that a knot. And then I just am taking 
one of the tails, you can wrap it just around a couple times. You're gonna, I'm gonna take my yarn needle and I'm just gonna weave that tail down. Okay, and I just like to make sure that they're all about the same. And I didn't even cut my loops at the bottom because when I trim this, I'm just gonna cut all of them. So this is just to save time. And I just like to make sure that I've cut them all about the same length. Then I'm just going to tie them and to get rid of these tails you can just take them and weave it down through Okay, and then just give that a trim. And I'm just gonna attach my other tassel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much guys, have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.